With ordinary microscopes, we cannot see very, very small things. We are always limited by the wave nature of light. We cannot see molecules. We cannot see the process of life in, in real action. And in order to see small structures, we need something like an electron microscope. And, but with an electron in the microscope, the things we see, they're dead. I mean, they're not live again. And also for making electronic chips for the electronics industry, there we need to photograph things, very, very small structures, transistors, on, on these chips. And that becomes increasingly difficult. Now, we found ways around this. We found new types of lenses, very unusual lenses, that uh, do the trick where we can maintain all the information that is contained in light and photograph them on uh, photosensitive materials. And there we succeeded in the very first experimental demonstration for that, not for light for the time being, but for microwaves. And, and my PhD student, Saha, she will explain what the trick is behind it, what the idea is behind it. Maybe I should say that the secret of our method is using geometry that's inspired by nature itself. Einstein's theories of general relativity suppose that any dense distribution of a mass in a world could uh, induce a natural geometry. Nowadays, in the light of a recent uh, progress in artificial materials and engineering, we are able to exactly mimic such a structure, but here in the lab on the Earth. And using any arbitrary geometry in this way for different purposes. For example, for the case of imaging, to get perfection, we need a proper geometry which provides all of the conditions for overcoming the intrinsical restriction of ordinary imaging. The simplest case is a sphere. If we could confine the emission and propagation of light on the surface of a sphere, then we can transfer complete information of the source to the image that lies at the antipodal point of the source. In this way, there is a constant phase delay between source and image for all propagation directions. This results in suppressing the diffraction and creates a perfect image. But by using the kind of artificial materials with a varying reflective index, we can show that exactly such a geometry that could be implied under just a disk, disk of the varying material. And for propagating light, it would exactly work as the surface of the sphere.